Chalwami Asharala. Before we go into this lesson, we give all honor, all glory, and all praises to Yahweh. So, Kal Halaliam Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. We give that about honor to the apostles and prophets and elders of GMS Camp, better known as Great Millstone, for the bring for the hundred percent truth that I've been currently edified under. Now, I'm not with GMS, but I'm currently learning under them because they they do have the hundred percent truth. This is what I know for a fact. So let's go into this particular lesson. Now this lesson is more dealing with a herb talk lesson. Um, leaning on, I would say, land back, doing a land back video from the brother um, Abonaya, which he, he had a dream dealing with a particular um, chemical compound known as bromine, or bromine, so like, yeah, a mis pronunciation. Now I just want to give some edification on it. So we go play a part of his video, and we will we, we, we will be able, we'll go through a few of our own oh, information, yes, and from there we could um put, give some remedies that not will not not only would help but also fix the situation, because we know there there's a lot of bromine traces known as dibromide that is in the chemtrails, which we are also going to go into. And we see now the, the 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 lining up the um the the plan to bring about the bird flu or avian virus pandemic, right? So this is the reason why I'm doing this to edify those who have the ISIS, who have the S2 here, who can receive it, that they take precautions because this dream, I believe this dream is for is to alert the brotherhood as to what's taking place, so that we be prepared in the latter end. Because remember what the scripture tells you, Isaiah 33 and verses 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and the strength of salvation for the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. So let's go into this precept, let's go into this, like, yeah, this video, and then we will get some um, edification on it, get some um, cures or remedies, and then we will go through some precepts to get some more edification, right? Abaniah of the South Arm of the Trinidad GMS Camp, Heralds of Yahweh Shai, coming to you with another lesson. And a message to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But first, we give all honor, all glory, all praises to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rukah Hakodash. Double honors to apostles, prophets, and teachers of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the sincere Akim and Akwath, who are following this truth in all diligence and all sincerity. Now, the lesson and the message today. Is pertaining to a, a dream the Lord gave me a little over a year ago. I remember clearly, a little over a year ago. And a little over a year ago. And the Lord told me to tell the people, warn the people. Now, I didn't do When I received the dream, the Spirit of the Lord told me to warn the people. I uh, didn't do it the way I was supposed to, you know. I still made it known to a couple of people, you know, put out one or two little posts. But the Lord want me to reveal it again. You know, the Spirit was heavy this morning. To reveal two dreams, right? So, the first one is pertaining... I was, um, this dream wasn't really long. I was in an open field and I was looking up in the sky at a plane passing overhead. There were lots of clouds and stuff and directly to the side of me, you know, angel of the Lord was speaking to me and was telling me, warn my people, warn my people about bromine. They're using that, they're using that chemical bromine to harm my people, warn the people, you know, and I got up out of the dream. And getting up out of the dream, what stood to me the most, the word bromine kept playing in my head, warn my people about bromine, warn, you know. Now, I must say, I have never prior to that dream ever heard of the word bromine much less there was anything carrying the name bromine 
They know nothing about it. So, uh, I didn't write away, go and search it up. You know, so for like a few hours, I keep hearing warn my people about the bromine. And, you know, I went and searched it up. And lo and behold, there is indeed a chemical called bromine. And bromine is such a versatile chemical, it can be combined with other chemicals. And there's a wide range of uses that we use, that it's being used for in the world today. From agriculture, to putting in foods, to putting in medicines. And this compound is very dangerous. It's highly toxic. Now I pray our Bashem Yawashai protect this video and keep it up because you know how TikTok is. So, I'm going to just read this first precept before we go into identify what it is. This is so, I'm going to stop there because I want to do um, some information given on my, on my own just to give some brief, just like as he did in this lesson. Now, what I can tell you, as we have this short time, that you could go and subscribe to Humble Servant, which is um, which is um, beloved brother Abaniah, second page. He also gives some information on there, so you can go and subscribe to Humble Servant to receive some edification dealing with bromine, seeing that this is what he has received of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai as a message unto us. So let's go on and get this information going, right? Because remember, before we continue, I remember doing a lesson, right? Oh, let me pause before you, let me pause. I want to go back. Oh, I need to go back because I remember doing a lesson on um, saga some seaweed. Let me see if I find it. And the information of the saga some seaweed is that it is with this particular seaweed dealing with iodine you would no longer have problems with majority of your illness which is exactly what i said in my lesson now i hope so i got some seaweed as, 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 as a sea moss or a seaweed family family of the seaweed family of the kelp salakia that has one of the highest concentrations of iodine and the reason why i'm putting this to you because iodine is a is a chemical compound that is used not to not only um balance your thyroid but also so like yeah i'm pressing the wrong thing but also it is used to um i want to see the right way it is used to remove the halogens which are known as bromine which is one iodine no bromine fluoride and chloride those are the three halogens that the iodine a proper concentration of iodine which is supposed to be above around 250 um mcg which is um micrograms of iodine per day now when i go into this information then you would understand i don't know why this happened with the title here i'm looking for the, the lesson i did dealing with it liver cleanse liver cleanse liver cleanse all right um but uh, is it this tell me is this tell me is this Listen, let me check it out if I can't find it, it is what it is. Um, Shalom, this is, it, right? this is what I did concerning the um, thing dealing with iodine and how good it, how good the some seaweed is. I did a lesson on it because, the, I, like I said, the Heavenly Father is putting this in our sh on our shores at this point in time. I remember doing this video, and who those who could have who watched it because there's a person that um, commented on it, but those who have watched it would have known. They have Yahweh Bashem Yahushai has been putting saga some seaweed all around Trinidad and Tobago for a reason and the Caribbean for a reason. This holds one of the highest concentration of iodine, which could be used to eradicate any thyroid thyroid problems as well as chemicals and toxins that is very hard to be removed, like bromine. But let's go into it. We're not going, we're not going to um which are this lesson like going to the the information given and how bad how 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 how, how horrible bro mining and then and then we are going to the uh the, the the information dealing with the remedies all right let me not let me not speed past the topic here so 
they go right here right so the base information when you look in, when you look into bromine it says elemental bromine is mainly used ma um, to manufacture flame retardants pharmaceuticals i'm gonna say it one more time one more time for those who have the ears to receive it pharmaceuticals paper dyes insect repellent drilling fluids perfumes those who want to buy nice expensive perfume be careful photographic chemicals water treatment chemicals the exact same thing that they put in your water these daily for you to drink they know exactly what they are doing let's continue sanitizers bromine is also a key component of other chemicals hmm imagine that let's continue because we see in here that the majority of the world goes into pharmaceuticals to receive the the um the 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 uh, supplements and whatever what medication they drink but majority of the world drink tap water if i don't know for those who don't know literally 70 percent of the world if not more drink regular tap water that they that they treat with chemicals i wonder what they are putting in that let's continue because we have to really establish this understanding now there's a, 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 a chart here dealing with hazardous hazardous um substances uh substance for for sheet which the title here gives press it bromine just spread out this just wait to see it you could go into this and look into it and see what it does now i won't give you a nice little brief information here dealing with bromine bromine can affect you when you inhale or pass and and, and by passing through your skin so you could inhale it or if it touch you it, it enters you which could cause what irritation in your nose your throat your lungs and fill up and build up fluids in your lungs causing what pulmonary edema or in other words pneumonia let's continue i want to i want to brief bro and um, browse past it because i know it will take a, it will take long just um just go through them so let me go i will leave this one for last because here lies the cure <laughs> for those who don't know how could you be exposed to bromine this is the question I was asked right F following to release of bromine into waters which we just see because already treating your water with it it doesn't matter you could be exposed by drinking contaminated water so if your water is contaminated with bromine and you drink enough because i know many people i say it again i know many people for the past few during the, the time of the, the the pandemic where they got sick off of drinking water they got sick off of drinking water and, and Dr. Lewis from Tecarigo, I was saying they're putting these things in the water as well. And he made mention to that. Not knowing it was bromine or pain in the water all the time. Abanaya, that's a yapa dream. You just solve my questions as to how are they able to put viruses in a tap water and it lasts. Because treatments would have eradicated them. But you just... You, Abanaya... <laughs> to water, boy. To water, to water. You just put the pieces... You just literally gave me the key to the door. Now I understand the, the, the way in which they go about doing these things. It's not viruses, people. It's chemical. They weaponize every single thing for you. This is not bio-warfare as you thought it was now. This is chemical warfare. We had it wrong. Let's continue. Um, you could um, be exposed by eating contaminated food as well, right? It says, following release of bromine gas into air, into the air, slacker, you could be exposed by breathing the fumes. Skin exposure to bromine could occur through direct contact with bromine liquid or gas. Bromine gas is heavier than air, so it would settle in, in lower lying areas. Which I would say with the way I live in right now might be the worst place to be if they release them 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 trails. Because what I there's mountains are above around me and I'm literally in somewhat of a valley. Somewhat of a valley. But anyways, let's continue. So let's go into this one. How does bromine work? And this is exactly what Sebi would have said. Bromine works by directly irritating skin mucous membrane and tissues now when you disrupt your mucous membrane for those who have who don't know this could be very detrimental because you have excess of mucus 
being being released in different areas of your body and for those who don't know the excess of mucus especially if it's interrupted are or becomes acidic causing things like malignant diseases are known as cancer but let's continue it says the seriousness of poisoning caused by bromine depends on the amount the route the, the, not the, the route, the amount, the length of time of exposure as well as the age and pre-existing medical conditions of the person exposed. And this is the reason why I want to do this video. Now, when I begin to bring this information out, my advice is to take it down, write it down. Key things to have in your household when for this next plan, if well, when this next pandemic take effects, pandemic. Anyways. The, um, immediate signs and, and symptoms of exposure to bromine and look at how the, the disease in 2019 has a very similar resemblance to the symptoms given out here watch this breathing bromine gas could cause you to cough have trouble breathing get headache have irritations of your mucous membranes hmm inside your mouth and, and, and nose which deals with what your sinus tonsillitis sinustis where your mucous membrane begin, um, begins going down to your intestines but anyways um, it says uh, mouth it says etc be dizzy or have watery eyes getting bromine liquid or gas on your skin could cause skin irritations and burns Liquid bromine that touches your skin may first cause a cooling sensation that is closely flo um, um, followed by a burning feeling. I want to go uh, get, get more in the um, science. It says, swallowing bromine contain containing compounds, combination of bromine with other chemicals would cause different effects depending on the compound swallowing a large amount of bromine in a short period of time would be like the, like like to cause likely to cause symptoms such as nausea vomiting and gastrointestinal symptoms S um showing the, res the these signs as it's showing these signs and symptoms doesn't necessarily mean that a person have been exposed to bromine now we see the symptoms closely resembles that of what that of the um the virus in 2019 it says survivors of serious poisoning caused by inhalation breathing in bromine may have long-term lung problems people who survived serious brom um, bromine poisoning may also have long-term effects from damage done by what is called symptomatic poisoning or example for example kidney or brain damage from low blood pressure see that so i would have read further but we have we, we, i mean let me see what how long we have here racing for time i'll read a little bit more and then we'll go more into um we'll go into the last part which has the remedy right so um let's see if this one will be easy to read how could we how can you um, protect yourself no this don't, don't even listen to this because here it says eh? how can you protect yourselves and what to do um, if you are exposed to bromine now remember it's already in your water supplies and what i'm going to bring out for you in the last one is already in your soaps right so let me read it first get fresh water by leaving the area fresh, fresh air slack here by leaving the area where the bromine was re was released moving to an area with fresh air is a good way to reduce the possibility of negative health effects from exposure to bromine if the bromine release was out what was outdoors move away from the area where the bromine was released go to the highest ground po um, possible because bromine are heavier than air and will sink to low um, lying areas if the bromine release was indoor get out of the of the building i said now let me just brush past this 
because this is where it gets really sticky you see you see even you um um if you wear glasses wash them with soap and water all these things have bromine in it and i will show you just now i want to kind of get some more information concerning how to treat bromine poisoning um medical so basically yes they say oxygen which is good oxygen is good yes fluids is good yes but what fluids not from your hospital i'll say it again what fluids not from your hospital i'll show you what fluids to get you go into the hospital which is full of bromine in itself you are going to get worse like my father did going through his situation in 2019 um, um virus and almost was i was almost unalive i had to sneak herbs in his toilet paper bag for he to get the herbs to drink it to get better because it didn't want nobody to give him anything that's how you get better by the way just letting you know um and this is all to the will of yahweh bashim yahushai because he was showing me certain things back then and i know i'm able to see this what abanai brought here was lit fulfill that piece to the puzzle allowing me to understand what is what the government has done following the agendas of esau edom i don't want to say the word but just let us know it's esau edom or w who um so it goes down to say so let's continue let's get the main information here dealing with what look at right here i believe is the last page did i not take oh this one here it's a lucky like this one here so let's go in to get the understanding as to what this is let's go first into poisonous um poisonous barium is now found in the in in the blood from chemtrail spray play spray planes so like will government justify and stop poison use for un agenda 2000 uh, well 21 climate control now as we go into this remember this is chemtrails that they have released I'm going to go into the ingredients and I'm going to stop at a certain point to give a proper understanding so that you all could see with all your own two eyes what they have been doing to us. So let me just put my phone to charge again. I don't want it to, to keep me on charge. Good. Good. So let's continue. It says, the So like, yeah. Please do do that again. All right. Boy. You are listening. Take off. All right. It is what it is. So the information given this is let me make sure i'm recording because this things always mess up sometimes right this is a public a published slacker like list um of the claimed poison which which if true would appear to be more related to population control than to climate control now we've seen the information being played out here you can check the site if i have the site up let me see I guess I will have to go and get again. Um, so like here. Yeah. Listen to what it says here. Aluminum oxide. Particles. Ars arsenic. I don't know that. Um, Balchai. I don't know that. And moles. Well, I know it's that. I know it's those. Um, it says barium. Titanates. A tita, the titanates i don't know how i don't know if that's how it's pronounced so salakia for those who can pronounce it pronounce it it says um cardium then have calcium then have chrome chromium then then have um desiccated desiccated salakia human red blood cells then you have here 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 is the point ethylene dibromide one more time ethylene dibromide or d bromide now let's go into that word d bromide because we've seen it here that we have it here before bromine substance br2 is a reddish brown brown liquid and is never naturally found in its elemental form but rather in inorganic compounds also known as bromides and in in natural orga, org, organo bromine compounds so now let's go a little bit further to see how bad this really is right i believe it's here die bro look right here so the word is 
Wait now, this not even, this not even, the, hold on, hold on, I see that connection here, hold on, I probably missed, I thought this, this looked like a, com a, a compound that was in the, one of the vax, the cove vax, but um, one, um, one and two, dibromoethane, also known as ethylene dibromide, EDB, I want to check this and make sure, because I could do a next lesson on this to show if it is in the, the vax, the, the death shots as well. Matter of fact, I need to check this for sure. I want to make sure. Alright, I did a brief check. There's none in the um none in the in the dead shot. Toada, at least. Because people would have been on a lot faster. Who knows? This one might be. This one they might put it in it as well. Just letting you know. But anyways, um also known as ethylene um dibromide, right? EDB is an o is a is an organo bromine compound with the chemical formula of C2H4Br, which is bromine 2. Although trace amongst occurs naturally in the ocean, where it is probably formed by algae or kelp, sub substantial amount um, are produced um, industrial. It is a dense colorless liquid with a faint sweet odor detectable at 10 ppm. It is a wide used and sometimes controversial um, fumigant fumigant it says the com and when you go for it, it says the combustion of of one two um which this di uh, which is um dibromide ethylene dibromide produces hydrogen bromide gas that is significantly corrosive now I believe some way was this one. It says person who who clothing will, uh, uh, or skin is contaminated with liquid ethylene dibromide above um, can second um, can secondarily contaminate others. So if you contaminate with bromide, you could what? Ca you can secondarily contaminate others by direct contact or through of of gassing vapor now you're seeing how these things were spread onto someone else they are they literally use chemicals to do this for those who have the eyes to receive and the ears to hear it come on look at this secondary contaminate others by direct contact or through off gassing vapors meaning breathing <sighs> Okay, that's it. That's, that, that's it. A liquid at room temperature, ethylene dibromide, readily um, penetrates skin or um, clothes and other pro-effective materials such as rubber and leather. It is non-flammable. Ethylene dioxide is a colorless, um, heavy liquid with a sweet um, chloroform-like odor. Its odor is not detectable. At a low at a low enough concentration to be considered a warning or excessive exposure. So in other words, you can't even smell it normally. You would not even be able to smell it normally. They are poisoned. They have poisoned us. They have poisoned us. And they continue to poison us. The wicked, what's my Esau is truly the wicked, isn't it? Scripture said the wicked has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And I'm paraphrasing. Esau is truly wicked, man. Let's, free, let's finish. Let's finish it off. It says absorption can occur by the inhalation, um, by, by the inhalation, oral or dermal, which is skin of uh, tissues. It is toxic by these three routes or routes of exposure. Toxicity is though is is thought to be due um, to metabolic products or ethylene dibromide. Now, is there any more? Do I have to. There's no more. There's no more. There's more. Right. I think it's this one here, Missy. Yeah. This one's up. Last one. Right. And I put the remedy for bromide. And here it says, eh? no, I want to put, um, I'll read this first. Inhalation um, initiates irritant symptoms of 
inhalation of bromine vapor including short breath hmm shortage of breath which we see happening during that time cough choking wheezing hit it bronchoconstriction exactly what is going on there inflammation of osteophagus and um larry what i don't know his pronouns that one so like yeah i would say laryngeal spasm laryngeal spasm every day is pronounced so like yeah um, such respiratory distress can lead to hypo hypozamia mat metabolic acidosis and death straight to the point that is it let's go even further remedies for bromine how bromine poisoning is treated bromine poisoning is treated with supportive medical care for example oxygen um, fluids um, through a needle <laughs> into your veins uh, um, in a hospital setting and the last but not least no specific antidote exists for bromine poisoning but there's one that they fail to, to remove from the internet showing how bromine is suppressed or even removed which when you grab this that's why i said i want to make sure and read it come on please do this can i so like here before i continue remember the disclaimer remember the disclaimer youtube this video is for edification educa educational purposes only copyright disclaimer under section 107 of copyright acts 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purpose such as criticism comments um news reporting teaching scholarship and research so you, you're seeing it please do not take this video down please thank you Let's um, go back into it because the main point is right here, which we read where it says, we start from the top, where it says bromine is one of the most, make sure recording, one of the most toxic cancer causing substances on the planet. Bromine forces iodine from your body to be processed um to buy take to to um from your body by a process called competitive inhibition now that same iodine that it pushes out is indeed the cure for it and let's show you let's talk about the evil step brothers of iodine iodine is a member <laughs> Is a member of a halo of a halogen family, bromine, chlorine, and fluorine, and and flor and fluorine, bromine, chlorine, and fluorine. So like, um, uh, all in competition for iodine receptors in your body. Iodine in its element, ele elemental form, taken up by the thyroids and deposit and and deposited in many in the many bodily receptors is um comma is first used to detoxify your body of the other harmful halogens you see where the cure is however you must have enough iodine initially to both support your thyroid functions and fill those receptors you must get the necessary elemental mineral salts in those endocrine system receptors sites so you don't absorb the lower quality halogen bromines halogens which are bromine bromine chlorine and fluorine and flu, bromine chloride and fluoride okay so like yeah. or radioactive iodine which competes for receptor sites and forces iodine out of the body replacing the necessary minerals with cancer causing toxins now we see the cure and my my point exactly is this where do you get iodine from this is where i have to make that statement clear by even going into the camera by going to the camera 
and show what because i bought this today kelp kelp is a very a very high source of iodine and iron and a lot of minerals now this is the nature way brand i'm not support i'm not really um endorsing them but the kelp for this brand is very good when you really look at it the amount that your body requires is um the amount that your body requires is of 250 um mcg for men for adults and this is 270 which would give the extra for your receptors now you see how good this is right it, it right it's focusing now so this is all it have in this iodine which is um this amount and then we have the sodium which is part of the uh, this part of the kelp it comes with the kelp and the reason i like this is because it does ha doesn't have much other ingredients that is with the the um the capsule itself right so this kelp is very good to use for a source of iodine then you have the sargassum seaweed which i will make sure and pull up because we need to address that sargassum seaweed which you can check Shalom. out Shalom. dealing with sargassum seaweed and the benefits of it five percent of the sag of of let me get five percent of sargassum seaweed holds all the, the iodine that your body needs per day so you're taking it, it, it i think it's the five the five grams so like five grams so five grams is really not much being honest with you but now let me show the um others that you could use which are um one dealing with the 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 chrondrus crispus seaweed or sea moss right here and then we have the uh we'll put this in the center here and then we have the the uh, the genus Gralace Gracilaria, my, my pronunciation might be wrong. Gracilaria, Gracilaria. I'd sit right here. See that? Now there's the fake seaweed. The fake seaweed is a bit fat, and when you put it in water, it does swell. These are thin and fibery, and they swell when you put them in water. That's the difference. They are from rocks, and you see there's a piece of rock on it already. That is, it came off from the rocks. So you see how beneficial this is. This is these are actual seaweed. You get in Trinidad, you get in other places. Toko side have a lot. Sea just side have a lot. Miaro side have a lot. Where you can get this, I got some seaweed. You get in um in I would say on down on south side. Even in Miaro side as well have plenty. I got some seaweed, but don't walk away from them. Kelp, kelp, Crunchus crispus, and the genus. So I got some seaweed. Um, you have the bladder rock, and you have the um the black walnut. Those are filled with iodine, filled, full with iodine that that helps support your body. Now we go and go into some information about it, but I will state I will, I will give the remedy first, just so we don't kill too much time, and then I will just give the um the uh, how good. Of, a, of iodine how good iodine could be as well as iron because we need that iron to drive that more into your bloodstream and faster into your thyroids to have better effect so that is the reason why we have to add iron to it and we know these already have a high amount of iron as well as the sargassum seaweed those three and sargassum seaweed as well as the black the um bladder rack but i have some remedies to give that will help you all in the long run. So when you get the chance, take this down. Let me take off this card. How do you this again? Right. Come back into my usual. Right. So now we know that bromine is one of the most dangerous and most toxic substances on planet Earth that we live. Right. And we see it in all of your in majority of your foods, in your water, because they put it there for a purpose to shorten your lifespan. And it's all due to the will of Yahweh Bashem because of our transgression. So now he has given us a way to combat or even overcome those. If those that are obedient to be to be exact, right? So firstly we we have the iodine supplements that the, the iodine sources that you could get. We already gave five 
I will go and get the, the rest of the stomach. You already get five remedies, five um, uh, supplements that you can receive, iodine supplements, high in iodine. You can also get, I believe, is the original, the, the original sea salt, not any sea salt. Be careful with Celtic sea salt. Be careful with Celtic sea salt. It has been found with trace chemicals in it that could be harmful to you. So just be careful with Celtic sea salt. Look for more um, refined, not refined, look for more um, whole or original organic sea salt or something. I think that's the name of a whole, I think it's whole or something like that. Um, I will see if I can get, I'll take a picture and post it as a short video as well to show you what you can use as sea salt at this point in time for, for, for iodine effect as well. Um, so we need something to increase oxygen level as well as give iodine that is as, as well as, sorry as well as give iron and iron and iodine will come together that will be the cure for this particular situation the herbs that i'm, that I'm going to call out is what you should write down because remember what the scripture says All right i get straight to the point we ain't playing with that and Yahweh created medicines of the, out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. Remember, this is the purpose, the purpose for us, for, for us doing this, or us being, dealing with herbs, is to provide remedies to prolong life, which the scripture tells you. Then give place to a physician, for Yahweh had created him. Let him not go from thee, for thou hast need of him. There is a time when in their hands there is good success, for they shall pray, or they shall also pray unto Yahweh, that they should, that, that he would prosper that which they give for ease, which is the person who deal with the herbs and for remedies to prolong life. Because remember, scripture tells you that um, the Heavenly Father kills and he make alive, he wounds and he heals. So he is the, he is the one that brings forth all this, all this information. As scripture says, Sirach chapter 1 and 1, all wisdom coming from Yahweh and is with him forever. That deals with healing as well. All wisdom. So that is why we have to lean on the Heavenly Father by firstly diligently seeking him in order for you to receive this um, information. So, you take this down. You, you take down the, the, the iodine supplements you could use. There's also iodine crystals in the drugstore. I don't trust them though. There's also boron as well, but I don't trust them. I think Moringa also has iodine. And I believe celery also has iodine. Check for yourself. I will do a check after this to be honest and give um, some more. I'll give um, herbs a very strong in, uh, or food supplies a strong in iodine that you, could, that you could get. Proper iodine to be exact. So, like with this lesson. So, the herbs that you would need for oxygen delivery, which also has a high amount of iron, would be mullion, elderberry, very high in iron, elacampane, ginkgo biloba, biloba. Nettle leaf, very high in iron. Longwort, very good. Scassandra, very high in iron. And valerian, though high in iron, the main thing, the reason why I call valerian is because it increases oxygen delivery to your brain as well as blue vervain. So that would be what you could use for the oxygen to increase oxygen with some iron. As well as, I'll call them all, so write it down. And then I'm going to give some remedies, some combinations that you could put together. Because all these herbs that I call from the combination just now is very compatible. So these are the these are herbs that you could use, high in iron, and increase oxygen delivery to your blood and brain. Very high. Then we have um, a very high source of iron. One of the, one of, um, the max sources of iron in herbs, known as sarsaparilla. Or sarsaparilla, some people will call it. It is sarsaparilla because it's, it's a, a Latin word. Sarsaparilla, I believe. It says dunkwai, that is number two. Nettle leaf, which we said before. Yellow duck, dandelion. We said blue vervain already. Sea moss. The crongeus crispus. Or the, or the genus, or genus. Then we have guaco. Ombre grande. Last two, yohembe and damiana. These are high source 
of iron that your body requires as well as increases oxygen delivery throughout your entire body that's your list pick few and get with it now i'm going to give some combinations that will that will help those to begin to fix the body from now get your burdock root with your nettle nettle leaf is very easy to get nettle leaf is the same as thing in nettle but different family nettle leaf is known as great thing in nettle those are higher concentration of iron. Those are the, the nettle that those are the things that be very um that be, be tall in the forest. That you pass your hand and your, your hand burning. That is the nettle leaf. Careful how you pick it though. It it hurts. But it's very good. I just pick it all the time. I, I get custom with this thing. But for you all careful. When you start off, it'll be hard. Um so burdock root, nettle leaf or, or great thing in nettle, yellow duck. Sea moss, blue vervain, sassaparia, cascara sagrada, and damiana. Now remember, you could substitute the sea moss for the kelp, for the sagasum seaweed, or you can even add it with it, or bladder rock, or you can even add it with it. Next remedy, you get some sassaparia, some yohimbe, some sea moss. Which can be substituted to the, for the rest because the, the main po fo fun um, function is iodine. Then we have valerian, we have bulge weed, very high in iron, yellow duck, very high in iron, um, bladarak, mullion, elderberry, and yes, yet again, nettle leaf. Those two are very, I would say, it's very compatible with each other. And then you have the sea moss and the nettle leaf allowing the completion of all the nutrients that is required. But the main two, iodine and iron. That's your remedy. But when you, before you do that, you, you have to have as well, though the parasite and blood cleanse does have iron in it, I mean um, iron and iodine in it, it is very crucial for getting rid of parasites because for those who don't know parasites I would, let, me, let me go into it a little bit i want to um i think it's on this side before you close off um uh just looking so like yeah um bear with me a little bit And I remember the Heavenly Father showing me this herb, saga so some seaweed. And I went, I say, wait, I want to find that. That looking real thing. I went on the beach and find it. And, and my heart jumped for joy. Something tell me this is a remedy for something. And I made a lesson on it. Something told me this is a remedy for majority of diseases by itself. And when I look at the recipe, when you look at the information given, you will see the exact same thing. But let's continue. Um, potassium bromide. Look, look. Let me continue. The potassium, the brom, the um, um. Again, this one, this one, this one. So like, yeah. You have bromine in everything. Source of bromine, literally in almost everything. Strawberries, pesticide use used for strawberries. We have dough, a dough con um, conditioner found in um commercial bakeries. Some flowers, breads, um, vegetable oils. Um, citrus drinks, Mountain Dew, Red, Red, um, Gatorade, <sighs> plastic, uh, plastic pads used, um, to make computers. It's everywhere you are. It's what it touches, what you can. They did that on purpose. No? Medication, as you see in here. Huh. Anesthesia. Hmm. Nasal spray. Inhaler. Inhaler, no wonder they don't get better. They rely on this and the bromine in it making it, it just it wow. For high for fire retardant. And they go for the hot tub um pool cleaners, hot tub and pool cleaners, pajamas, mattresses, pads. Bruh, come on. This is hey, watch it. 
Hey, watch me. Chemical found in what? In antibacterial soap as well. Like I said, soaps. It's in every it's in almost everything. This is why we had to go back natural. We can't rely on any pharmaceuticals any longer. Eventually we'll be on alive. Take heed. Listen to this word. The Heavenly Father will provide um remedies for us to who he used, which I, I, I'm not saying to what I would say to what I for the opportunity to, to be able to provide our remedy for it. But let me let me deal with this main thing. Make sure I write on these things, eh? The way to start using this first, like I always says, is a good parasite detox, which consists of wormwood, black walnut, which has a high amount of iodine by itself already, black walnut. Then we have um, clove. We have, um, this one has a, this parasite detox will have mullein in it. So we have mullein. We have chaparral. We have blessed thistle. We have neem. And those are the several herbs of completion for this particular remedy. You could even add elacampi to make it eat, but it's that's not more so that's more of a choice. And with that remedy, all measurements shall be equal except for the clove. Clove shall be one third, no two thirds less than the regular ingredients. And you make a brew using you add it depends on if you if you use I would say you, after mixing completely from the powder itself, all the powders combined together, you mix it together. You take a teaspoon, a full teaspoon, mountain. Make sure you have a little mountain peak a little bit. You add it to some um to a, con a container or a small pot. You add your waters. You put it up boil for five to ten minutes, and then you, you after ten minutes you, you you um you carry down your your fire to the lowest part so it could simmer. For the next 20 to 30 minutes 20 minutes if so much it should no longer be on top that 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 stove for about 30 minutes if so much and that is it when you're done you take it off you you let it cool naturally don't cool it by putting it in the fridge let it cool naturally to draw the remaining minerals and from there what you would do is begin to consume begin to drink you take um two portion cups or let's say half Half of a cup, an actual cup, twice a day. And with that, you get a gut and cell cleanse, can cascara sagrada, some um, psyllium husk, some some slippery elm slippery M, um, M or elm bark. You get some um, some uh, because rhubarb root. You get some um, mm, sene. You mix it, combine. The exact same way you boil the um the, the 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 parasite detox, the exact same way you do to the um gut and cell cleanse. Not everything is boiled the same, way, but in this situation you do the same way. Same thing. You make sure you grind everything into fine powder, and you mix it together correctly. Then you add a teaspoon, and you do the exact same thing. That teaspoon is is for that particular day or how whatever you choose to do it. If you want to make a big amount, you can but it's better to be doing day by day. And you, you begin with that cleanse. Parasite and parasite detox, gut and cell cleanse. The gut and cell cleanse consists of every three days you're taking it. Parasite detox is every day until it's done. If it finishes seven days, that's good. Eight days, that's good. Nine days, ten days, that's good. But make sure you do your gut and cell cleanse in the process. You cannot so you're not allowed to be eat not, you cannot eat during that program, you cannot eat no no sugars, no uh, artificial sugars. You can consume natural sugars like fruits, but no artificial sugars, no flour, no meat, no oils, no dairy products, no um, rice, none of that. You stick with fruits and veggies for the time being, and you take a cleanse, you, you intake some sea moss with it because at that point in time, you would want to remove and add iodine. Iodine helps with detoxification process as we read. So you would want to help with iodine by taking iodine supplements like kelp, like the seaweed, and the sea moss. By the way, I have used the parasite detox to combat the cove um, disease that take place in 2019. Started off with you know the 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 virus, and within a half an hour, it it cuts or an or, or remove. The, 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 the effects or the symptoms of the so-called the so-called again of the so-called 
virus but remember um black walnut have a high amount of iodine in it so in other words you have nothing to worry about so those two by itself would provide enough iodine to support your boy for the next seven days and the rest of that time you would choose the eat either or of the combination that i gave which is the burdock root the yellow the net the nettle leaf nettle root the yellow duck the sea moss the blue vervain sasaparia salakia sasaparia cascara sagrada damiana or the other combination which i told you sasaparia yohembe sea moss valerian baldreed yellow duck bladderwrack mullein elderberry and nettle leaf those two combinations you could take after prepare the same way if not and if it's too hard to do that you can grab supplements like the kelp the selling the kelp in the nature way selling the bladder rack in the nature way and the selling things like dung choir and sassaparia in the nature way but you still would have to go about with your parasite detox and your gut and cell cleanse via doing it like that or if you got a cell cleanse you could even use two tablespoons of um we call this thing of castor oil but make sure and get your natural castor oil first and then do that from the herb store i believe it's supposed to be 16 dollars for a big bottle of castor oil in the herb store so i hope this information would have done a good thing to what i um but my last abanaya for um bringing that information to add that piece to the puzzle i now understand what nonsense they did and i know how to fix it and this is through the strength and powers of yaobashi Shai. and i say to wada yaobashi Shai for the mercies for the information and for the for the for the, the the experience on a daily basis that i'm able to be able that i'm able to bring this remedy to prolong your people's life the men and women and even children of great millstone so i hope this information would have been enough i would do a part two to even more but remember this the key thing that is required is oxygen and iodine this is why we're using the iron now the rest of the phytonutrients from those herbs would strengthen your body to a core peak as to where you wouldn't have much of a problem with this one of the things you should have in your household by the way is food grade hydrogen peroxide and i'm going to go down a little bit lower to get that right because now let me read this is 35 percent but the three percent as well is good food grade food grade let me read it says um, hydrogen peroxide is naturally acidic compound that has two hydrogens and two oxygens that's the point two oxygen it is um it is stable in an acidic environment and it releases and decomposes into oxygen gases inside your body which is why quara when he was going through his symptoms i gave him hydrogen peroxide to gargle food grade and he gargled it what that does it prevents short breath it increases oxygen the oxygen level on a bodily scale because those bubbles that bubbles up on your tongue and on, and on your throat or by your throat goes into your bloodstream for those who don't know it's oxygen being it, it's it's liquid oxygen in a sense better than water but you can't drink it like that to be honest for the food grade you can drink it but at a particular dosage but on a regular your, your gargly food grade hydrogen peroxide during these times it will be crucial because that is what's going to in keep your oxygen level at a, at a all high allowing your body to repair itself faster and with the iron that's more oxygen increasing into your bloodstream there's more arm repairs and there's more covering of your bashi shai. and as you just see he that sinned before his maker let him fall into the hands of the physician so i hope this lesson 
was indeed edifying. It was a bit lit, a, a bit lengthy. But we say Shalom Ya Sharala, Kal Halaliam, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. We get double honors to the apostles and prophets and elders of GMS camp, better known as Great Millstone, for the bring forth the hundred percent truth that I bring currently edified under. Shalom to the elect, the tabernacle of David and Ami brother Kazakia Sharala saying to you, Shalom.